Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn something about cabin crew Fiji Air Airways questions and answers, requirements and benefits. Myself Anjali Tomar, HR manager at Airclues Aviation Private Limited. Contents, meaning, requirements, benefits and question and answer. Meaning, Fizi Airways is the flag carrier airline of Fizi and operates international services from its hubs in Fizi to 13 countries and 23 cities including Australia, New Zealand, Samoa, Tonga and Solomon Islands the United States, Hong Kong, and Singapore. The requirements. First, Fiji school from seven, year 13, pass or equivalent or two years of previous cabin crew experience. Aviation and hospitality experience is an advantage. Fluent in English, verbal and written comprehension. Fluency in other Fiji official language or in a foreign language is also an advantage. Able to swim without the aid of a flotation device must be a Fiji citizen. A current valid password is an advantage. Must be a team player and willing to work a 24-7 roster including weekends and public holidays. Must be physically fit and meet Fiji Airways and Civil Aviation Authority of Fiji medical and health screening requirements. Must be able to travel unrestricted to all Fiji Airways international destinations. Must not have a criminal record in Fiji or any international jurisdiction. The benefits. Benefits include staff travel, ground transport in Fiji, accommodation or accommodation supplements, free of charge accidents and illness insurance and emergency and medical insurance. Choose your preferred roster option and sign on for a one to five year contract with options to extend. Question and answer. First, what do you know about our airline? With this question, your potential employers are essentially checking that you have done your homework about the airline you are applying to. So make sure you do your company research before the interview and familiarize yourself with the key details. The most important things to know are the airline's operational features such as the number of aircraft it owns, its flight routes and what their plans for the future are. It's also a good idea to mention any positive aspects of the company that you have noticed through external industry websites, news or magazine articles. Ultimately, you want to show off that you are aware of what your employers do as well as what they are planning to do in the future. Second, where do you see yourself in five years? This is and another common question in many interviews. But in the context of the airline industry, where staff turnover can be high, you are essentially being asked how long you're planning to stick around. Even if this is your long-term plan, though you should never admit it in an interview. Instead, talk about how you want to focus on growing, learning, and improving yourself and mention 
how you are confident that the airline you are applying to allows you to do that. Third, what are your strengths? To answer this question, you need to first understand the key skills and personality traits that airlines are looking for. You then need to apply this to your answer. For instance, air hosts and hostesses deal with hundreds of passengers a day, each with their own needs, demands, and cultural backgrounds. Therefore, you need to be an excellent communicator capable of handling multiple requests at a time and even diffusing situations where necessary. The trick is to select the qualities that best describe you and then align them with what your interviewer is looking for. Fourth, do you prefer working alone? or as part of a team. In the context of a cabin crew interview, the answer to this particular interview question should be pretty obvious. Airlines are looking exclusively for people who work well in a team. Don't completely play down your ability to work independently. Though airlines want their staff to be capable of thinking on their feet, and not just relying on instructions from others. Fifth, recall a time when you had to deal with a different customer. How did you resolve the issue? There is a conventional wisdom in customer service circles about how in any situation, the customer is always right and while Call service handlers, retail assistants, and waiters or waitresses the world over might fervently disagree with this sentiment. It's important that you remember it when answering this question. Sixth, how will you handle being away from family and friends? This question isn't just alluding to the physical distances you will be traveling, but to the long and demanding working hours as well. Flights operate at all hours of the day, 365 days a year, so it's likely that at some point you will have to make sacrifices in your personal life. Seventh, are you applying for vacancies at other airlines? This is a tricky question and to be honest, a little naughty. If indeed you are casting the night night wide, though the best approach is to be truthful about it. Not only does it show your potential employers that you are serious about finding a job as an air hostess, but if you have performed well and are a strong candidate, they might be able a little more keen to ensure that they secure your services. That said, recruiters are not naive either. So strike a balance by confiding that, yes, you are interviewing with one or two other airlines, but that you are fully committed to their recruitment process. Eighth, what work situations excite and motivate you? Just say it like, I am most motivated on the job when tasks are organized and the vibe is positive. I really value strong teamwork and good leadership. Ninth, when have you had to shift your priorities in response to sudden changes? In my current role, our schedule is changed on a regular basis and always at short notice. I have been able to adapt very well to these frequent and sudden changes.
This is an incredible book written by Captain Shekhar Gupta and this book is available on Amazon.